Hey guys, uh, so I wanted to make a video to show this uh, minecart thing that I've been working on. The basic idea is you can use certain items to select uh, which way to go. So, for example, I got two stops here right now. If you have the yellow flower, then you'll turn left, otherwise you'll go straight. And then if you have the red one, you'll turn left again, otherwise you'll go straight. And uh, with this one, it's got the redstone dust there because you want it to go left I guess and then with this one it's got it's missing the torch because I think by default when this is turned off you want it to go the other way basically so you'll have to alternate using that or this depending on which way you want it to go by default uh, anyways so I'm gonna put one of each in here red one and a yellow one I'll hop in this is sort of a launch platform basically the idea is to get this chest cart right in front of the regular cart so And then you'll see inside the chest it still has these uh, because it's returning them to it using the dropper right there. So now we'll restart this and this time let's just put a yellow one. And there we are, make sure it's the one there, yes. And now this isn't going to do anything but let's do one with just the red. And basically that uh, is it. It's real simple. The cool thing is uh, all you need is this sort of tiny little circuit here to handle your, your turn off. Uh, and you fill this up all the way so it's completely full. You fill that up with 41 and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and all the other ones so it can't take anything but dandelions. And the reason it's 41 is because of these redstones, you want that to be off, uh, unless there's one more. And so when you drop one more in there, or when a chest with a thing comes over, it's going to power that, which is going to send power to that block, which is going to power the dropper, and then a small delay on there, and that's going to make the actual turn off. Uh, cool thing is you can sort of tile this infinitely and just put a different item for each stop. Uh, so you can imagine one big rail line going straight, and then you've got different stops with each item, so you can just put in the one you want, and it'll take you to that stop. Uh, or if you've got multiple stops like this, you know, you could use it for something like, do you want to turn left or go straight? Or maybe you've got a big sort of square that you're going in, and you only get off with the right one, so maybe you want to go north, and this one goes north or something. Um, but yeah, I thought it was cool because it's, uh, it's pretty small. It's, what is it, three by, what, four by three by three or something? A pretty small cross section for this here. Um, you can use it for a passenger, you know, using two carts like that, uh, where the chest goes right ahead of the, the passenger. Or if you just want to use it as kind of like a post system, uh, then you could do something like this. We want this one to stop at the red stop. And so it's going to go. So I use saplings and cobblestone for these two. Um, but, you know, you just put one of those hopper unloader things here with a falling edge detector, I believe. And that way, you know, if you've got one red flower, or let's say you've got a sapling in here, I'll just redo it with a sapling. So let's say that I want to send all my iron ore to the sapling station. So I would do something like that, and there it goes. It's going to pass this one, it doesn't have anything, but it does have a sapling. So it's going to trigger that, and then it's going to unload all the ore. And then obviously once it's, I'll let it go all the way. Once it's out of ore, it's going to continue on. Now this one is going to unload. Uh, it, it'll return the sapling right here, but then this thing is just an unloader, so it's going to unload the sapling. Uh, I didn't really perfect that yet, but uh, the way I see it, if you've got just uh, something like this where you just want to unload, then, well now this card's unloaded everything, it no longer should really have a sapling there. It's, already, it's done the sapling job, which was to unload all the iron. Now it's on its way. Uh, I'll go back and show this one one more time. 
for sort of a transport. I guess you could also move items with it. Uh, let's do a yellow one. And uh, that's not necessary. And of course, the item's still in there. So you can use uh, the same indicator for multiple stations if you wanted to. Uh, for example, the yellow item could mean just keep going straight forever. Uh, and I think it's pretty versatile. And uh, this is sort of a launch platform. You could use anything for this. It's, uh, this isn't anything specific. It doesn't have to be anything specific. You just want to have the chest right in front of the regular cart. Um, but this is the main design here that you can just sort of tile over. And uh, you can do it as many times as you want. And then here's the sort of inverse design if you needed to work the opposite way with the rail. Let me know guys, I tried looking this up and I couldn't find anything like it. Uh, it seems like the best way if you want to do sort of a minecart station and have multiple stops, you can just use the one item to indicate your stop, you don't have to dick around with anything. So I thought it was kind of cool.